Welcome to Cynthia Keke's Hub, where we serve and inspire. Cynthia Keke's Hub is located at plot number 20, Vilawanga Road, Avondale, Lusaka. At Cynthia Keke's Hub, we offer the following services. Media, philanthropy, legal bag, and entrepreneurship. In media, we have CKK TV station, photography, videography and film production, events coverage, inclusive weddings, Chilanga Mulilos, and more. In philanthropy, we have donations and aid, counseling, and reconciliation. In legal bag, we have general legal consultancy, legal documents drafting, conveyancing, commissioners of oaths, and training. In entrepreneurship, we have motivation and inspiration, business microloans, training, and business ideas. You can contact us on the following details. Call or WhatsApp, plus 260-979-489-244, or email us at info at cynthiakekeshab.com, or cynthiakekeshab at gmail.com. You can also visit us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at Cynthia Keke's Hub. You can also visit our website at www.cynthiakekeshub.com. Cynthia Keke's Hub, to serve and to inspire. Once again for joining us on CKK TV, I'm your news presenter Philip Momba and this is the News Brief. The news making headlines, President Hakainde Hichilema calls for efforts aimed at sustainable food production. Marriage legal age revised from 16 to 19 years. Irregularities marred, Mitete CDF project cancelled. VEPP edges MPs ages MPs to use a CDF for development. Full engagement with China on commercialization of Tazara is a must tayali. In, 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 in international news, Tanzania lifts night bus travel ban after decades. In sports news, Celtic and Australia midfielder retires at the age of 32. And the news in details. President Haka Indehichilema has called for deliberate initiatives that will create the right ecosystem for Zambia to enable food production, processing and export. President Hichilema says Zambia only uses a small portion of the 60% arable land available providing the opportunity to leverage on Zambia's land-linked position and contribute to the, region, the regional food basket. He has called on Zambians to take advantage of the opportunities to be part of the country's economic growth by producing more food, creating supply chains and other businesses that result in more jobs for Zambian people. President Hichilema said this when he met American Ambassador Michael Gonzalez and a delegation from the Millennium Challenge Cooperation MCC. He expressed deep gratitude for the tremendous support from the United States of America on the path to date restructure. Cabinet has approved the publication and introduction in Parliament of the Marriage Amendment Bill 2023, which intends to revise the age for avoid marriage from 16 years to 19 years. Acting Chief Government Spokesperson Makazo Chikote says there is a need to amend the Marriage Act in order to align it with the provisions of the Constitution and the Children's Code Act of 2022. Mr. Chikote says the Marriage Act Chapter 50 of the Laws of Zambia is inconsistent with the provisions of the, constituen, the Constitution and the Children's Code Act of 2022 in relation to the age of maturity and the prohibition of child marriage. Mr. Chikote, who is also acting Minister of Information and Media, says Cabinet noted the need to protect the girl children from early marriages, hence having such law in place will help deal with culprits. 
He says the approval was done during the 10th cabinet meeting called by President Haka in the Hichilema President Haka in the Hichilema on Wednesday at State House which approved in total six bills for publication and introduction during the current sitting. And in other news, the Mitete Town Council in Western Province has terminated seven contracts worth more than 3 million kwacha under the 2022 Constituency Development Funds, CDF, due to irregularities during the selection of contractors. Mitete Town Council Secretary Kennedy Kazanda says it has been established after a review that the selection of the seven contractors was marred with irregularities and the local authority has decided to cancel the said contracts. Speaking at the Lukulu Civic Center when he briefed UPND Secretary General Batuke Imenda on the performance of the CDF projects under the 2022 and 2023 allocations, Mr. Kazanda said some of the companies awarded contracts were not present during site visitations. He has revealed that the affected projects have since been re-advertised. We do take our first commercial break and we will be right back shortly. Do stay tuned and don't go away. still staying tuned this is the brief this is the news in brief on ckk tv we continue with the news and the news in details vice president mutale nalumango has advised parliamentarians to take advantage of the constituency development fund cdf to enhance development in their constituencies Mrs. Nalumango says the purpose by government to increase cdf is aimed at taking development to all parts of the country she was responding to a question from Sinazongwe Member of Parliament, Gift Sialubalo, who wanted to find out why some constituencies have not used their CDF monies following the revelations during the UPND Secretary General's tour of the CDF projects. And in other news, the two shareholders in Tazara, Zambia and Tanzania have resolved that the only way forward for the commercialization of the railway company is to engage and bring back the tradition partner, the People's Republic of China. Minister of Transport and Logistics Honorable Frank Tayali disclosed today when a Chinese ambassador to Zambia, His Excellency Mr. Du Jiao Ho, made a courtesy call to the minister. Honorable Tayali said the two countries, Zambia and Tanzania, have been successful, have had successful meetings, I beg your pardon, and are more resolved to seeing the commercialization of the railway company with the full participation of China. Zambia and Tanzania are currently working on the formalization of the revitalization program of the Tazara. We do take our second commercial break and we will be right back shortly. Do not go away. News. Tanzania has lifted the long standing ban on nighttime upcountry bus travel. The decision was announced by Prime Minister Kasim Majaliwa in Parliament, who highlighted that the ban initially imposed in the 1990s was a response to the escalating number of road accidents and bus hijackings. The lifting of the ban comes after a thorough consideration of input from various stakeholders in the transport sector alongside marked improvements in infrastructure and security. And in sports news, Celtic and Australian midfielder Aaron Moy has announced his retirement from football at the age of 32. Moy, who played 57 times for his country, still had a year's contract left with the Scottish champions. New Celtic manager Brendan Rogers said he was disappointed by Moy's retirement but added that the decision was something he absolutely respects. For more in this story, we monitored Sky News. 
So very excited about the new season, but Celtic's Aaron Moy won't be taking part, having announced his retirement from professional football. With immediate effect this morning, the 32-year-old Australia international played a crucial role in Celtic's record-breaking trophy treble last year. He's called time on a stellar career spanning 15 years. Prior to joining Celtic, Moy played for a host of clubs, including Brighton and Huddersfield in the Premier League, St Mirren and Melbourne City. He was also an international regular, 57 caps for Australia. Well, Moy said, while it feels really sad to be leaving the game, I feel the time is right for me. I've been so fortunate to enjoy such a great career across the last 15 years, creating some fantastic memories. He goes on to say, I'm delighted to finish my career on such a high with Celtic. I'd like to thank all the fans for the great support they gave me during the past year. I was delighted to be part of such a memorable season. He continues, I hope Celtic continue to dominate the game. I wish Brendan Rodgers, the new manager, great success with that great group of lads at the club. This has been the news brief on CKK TV. My names are Philip Mwamba and looking at the stories making headlines, President Hakainde Hichilema calls for efforts aimed at sustainable food production. Marriage legal age revised from 16 to 19. Irregularities marred Mitete CDF projects cancelled. VEEP urges MPs to use CDF for development. Full engagement with China on commercialization of Tazara is a must. Tayali. Tanzania lifts night bus travel ban after decades. Celtic and Australia midfielder retires at the age of 32. This has been the news brief on CKK TV. Thank you for joining us. Pleasant viewing and on behalf of the whole production team, stay blessed and pleasant viewing. Welcome to Cynthia Keke's Hub, where we serve and inspire. Cynthia Keke's Hub is located at plot number 20, Vilawanga Road, Avondale, Lusaka. At Cynthia Keke's Hub, we offer the following services. Media, philanthropy, legal bag, and entrepreneurship. In media, we have CKK TV station, Photography, videography and film production, events coverage, inclusive weddings, Chilanga Mulilos, and more. In philanthropy, we have donations and aid, counseling, and reconciliation. In legal bag, we have general legal consultancy, legal documents drafting, conveyancing, commissioners of oaths, and training. In entrepreneurship, we have motivation and inspiration, business microloans, training, and business ideas. You can contact us on the following details. Call or WhatsApp plus 260-979-489-244 or email us at info at cynthiakekeshab.com or cynthiakekeshab at gmail.com. You can also visit us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram at cynthiakekeshab. You can also visit our website at www.cynthiakekeshab.com. Cynthia Keke's Hab, to serve and to inspire.